Hello students, in this video we'll understand the connection between differentiability and continuity. Our proposition is that if f is differentiable at x equals c, then f is continuous. at x equals c. Okay, so the fact that f is differentiable at c implies the following, so here's our proof of this fact. We know that the limit as x goes to c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c, this limit has to exist. That's one thing we know. And we also know that the limit as x goes to c of x minus c is equal to zero by continuity of the function x, okay? And that's easy to prove. And so I'm gonna use these two things together. So these two limits exist individually. So therefore what we can do is the following. We can consider now, so let's consider the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c. I would like to show that this limit goes to zero. What this is, is since now we're assuming when you're doing a limit as x goes to c, we're assuming that x is not equal to c. x is not equal to c here. So what this is, since x is not equal to c, I can, inside this limit, I can divide and multiply by x minus c. So this is the same thing as the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c times x minus c because I'm multiplying and dividing by something that's not equal to zero. So that's algebraically permissible. Now, as we mentioned to you, both these limits exist. Now, by properties, by, th by limit theorems, we know that if, if you have a limit of two things that are multiplied that exist, you can split that limit into the product of the limits. So this is the limit of the product, the limit as x goes to c, of f of x minus f of c over x minus c. We know that limit exists by the assumption that we are differentiable at c times the limit as x goes to c of x minus c, and we know that limit is equal to zero, so all over this limit is equal to zero. Therefore, the limit as x goes to c, x goes to c of f of x will be equal to f of c, and that proves that f is continuous at c. That's our proof. Now, of course, we know the converse of this is not true. In particular, we know that this function over here, f of x, which is absolute value of x, looks like this. There's x and there's y, okay? And clearly, this function is continuous at zero. This is continuous, f is continuous at zero, but not differentiable at zero zero. In fact, the difference quotient is what? The difference quotient looks like h over, absolute value h over h, which is plus or minus one based on where h is, and the, the x, or if it's, if, x, if h is less than zero, if h is greater than zero. So if you're differentiable, then you're continuous, but if you're continuous, you're not necessarily differentiable. In fact, in future videos, we'll show that there exists a function which is continuous on the entire line, indifferentiable at no point. Thank you very much.